My name is Adia Sovi, and I'm a graduate student in the McCleary Lab at the University of Florida. And today we're out uh, at the Jones Center at Itchoe uh, doing some seed fate and tracking work uh, that I'm doing as part of my dissertation and trying to understand the relationship uh, between some Patrick, that means uh, occurring together, gray squirrels and fox squirrels. So what I have out here are uh, feeding trays, one feeding tray, I have filled with gravel and unshelled hazelnuts. The other feeding tray also has gravel, but it actually has shelled hazelnuts that each have a flag on them. And what we're doing here is that the squirrels will come to these trays. They'll have to do some work um, and expose themselves to predators in order to get at the food resource. and seeing which food resource that they prefer will help me understand what are the kind of economics, um, the uh, foraging economics that are going on out here. Because this would be sort of analogous to if you or me went to a bank and the bank gave us a hundred dollar bill, but there was a condition on it. We could either take it right then and there, no strings attached, but we had to spend it in the next 20 minutes, or they would give us a hundred dollar bill locked in a lockbox that we would have to figure out how to unlock later, but we could store that um, $100 bill indefinitely until we needed it later. So that's the kind of questions um, I'm asking is because we would make different decisions based upon different um, kind of economic reasons, and so the squirrels make similar ones. It's a pretty simple uh, study, but it actually tells us a lot about squirrel behavior. So let's get going. All right, so I'm done sorting my trays and I've got some pretty interesting results. So it looks like in my, my shelled tray, I put five in there this morning and I only had one left. So that means that the animals took four during the day and I can check that those are actually squirrels because I also have a uh, remote camera set up here that takes a picture every time an animal visits the site so I can tell if it was a gray or fox squirrel or even possibly a raccoon and then I can adjust for that in my analysis. Now for the other tray that had the shelled pecans, ah, shelled hazelnuts, uh, it looks actually like all five of them are left. So. It looks like these squirrels are definitely preferring the shelled variety. So they just want to get their food and get out. So why do I have this piece of pink uh, flagging tape on the end of my shelled uh, hazelnut? It's because that's the second part of my question that I'm asking for my dissertation. Because, see, if these were their normal resource, which are acorns, where these guys end up, if they're cached and the squirrel forgets about them, well then an acorn might actually turn into an oak tree. And so caching and scatter hoarding behavior by species like um, my squirrels can have a really important impact on forest structure and recruitment and even problems that we're facing here at the Jones Center like hardwood encroachment in the longleaf pine ecosystem. So that's what I do. The next piece is if the squirrels have taken my, um, my seeds that are flagged, and they actually don't seem to mind the flag very much, they'll actually bury it a few inches, usually in the duff, and I can find my flag because it's really the only pink thing in the sea of green. And then I can understand um, what type of areas they're bringing the seeds and potentially influencing that recruitment. So thank you so much for stopping by and uh, helping me do my field work and I'll check in with you guys later.